My name is Professor Colette Manzicelli. It is a pleasure to welcome students and guests to NYU New York on this day of celebration in Germany and in Europe, the 28th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. It is fitting that this celebratory event of NYU European Horizons, the Robert Bosch Foundation Alumni Association, and Young Professionals in Foreign Policy New York welcomes two distinguished guests, Dr. Marta Pachoka of the Warsaw School of Economics and Dr. Ronald J. B. of the Hansen Summer Institute on Leadership and International Cooperation. The fall of the Berlin Wall was a revolutionary moment in the history of Germany, of Europe, and of the world. The transformation of Berlin, a once occupied city in a semi-sovereign country on a divided continent in the post-war era, has marked a new chapter in transatlantic and global relations. Tonight, our event features a discussion of migration in Germany, Poland, and Europe. Undoubtedly, a most important challenge to European unity and to peace in our fractured world. We come together at NYU's LaGuardia Coop, a data-driven student technology center, open to the world through the series of video conferences posted throughout the academic year. In the global network university that is NYU, the aim of our outreach is to facilitate dialogue and encourage service as a way to nurture peace among peoples as well as states. Tonight, we continue in the tradition of fellowship, inspired by our experience as Bosch alumni, dedicated to a Europe whole and free in a forward-looking transatlantic relationship. Bearing this vision of transnational civil society in mind, I ask Dr. Marta Pachoka to begin her presentation, which orients us to the east and center of the European continent. Thank you all for coming this evening, and welcome to you, Marta, from Warsaw. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, firstly, I would like to say many thanks. Thank you, uh, dear Professor Colette uh, Mazzucelli, for this great opportunity to be here and to uh, give this presentation on the occasion of an open lecture uh, at this prestigious university, New, uh, New York University. Um, I'm very happy to be here and today I would like to uh, elaborate on a very up-to-date topic. Um, it would be the impact of immigration in the EU on the relations of two important EU member states, Poland and Germany. And I would like to refer to this, uh, to this topic from uh, my, my main research field, uh, the migrant and refugee crisis that we just experienced in Europe. Uh, uh, recently. Let me briefly introduce myself because this is the very first time I had the occasion to, uh, to be here. So uh, I, uh, I got my PhD in economics uh, with uh, a scientific specialization in international relations in 2013. And then I just started uh, to work as an assistant professor, both a researcher and academic teacher at uh, the Warsaw School of Economics, so the university I graduated for, from, and it was 2014. Then in 2016, I started another interesting job, uh, only as a researcher in migration studies, and this was at the center of migration research at the University of Warsaw, so the second prestigious university we have in the capital city of Poland, in Warsaw. Uh, moreover, I'm trying to diversify my, uh, my uh, my interest through some activities for different NGOs and Polish European Community Studies Association is one of these additional activities. Um, if, we, uh, if, uh, if you would like to know more what is my scope of uh, current research interest, so there are some different fields. I would like to start with uh, European integration issues, EU studies, the EU position in international relations. Then this is also about social demographic changes in Europe and the EU. Uh, 
now mostly since 2015 I'm focused on uh, uh, migration and refugee studies uh, in the EU and European context. Also I'm working on the issue of EU policy on migration, asylum and border management. Having this broad scope of interests and uh, living and working in Warsaw, it's uh, natural that I'm strongly involved in different uh, EU-funded projects. And here you can see only some of them, the most uh, up to date. Uh, and they are, uh, they are conducted uh, within different bodies. I mean, uh, uh, at the Warsaw School of Economics, at the University of Warsaw, but also they are coordinated by the association I just mentioned, the Polish European Community Studies Association. And as you can see, these projects are mostly devoted to the migration and asylum related issues, uh, specifically taking into consideration uh, EU and European dimensions. Uh, I would like to say a few words uh, specifically about one project that is uh, the project we are uh, strongly uh, involved together with uh, Professor Colette Mazzuccelli. So this is the project uh, EU Micro. The full title is Jean Monnet Module on the EU and the Contemporary International Migration and Interdisciplinary Approach. So this project is co-founded by uh, Erasmus Plus program of the European Union and it started in 2016 and it will be conducted till August 2019. And what is the scope of the project? So this is mostly a short teaching program in the field of the EU studies that is run at my university, Warsaw School of Economics. And there are different, there are different activities that are, uh, that are scheduled and planned under this project. So firstly, we have teaching activities. And teaching activities are mostly about developing two new courses at my home university. So one about Europe and international migration and another one about migration situation and migration policy in selected EU member states. Um, and what, what I would like to do is to conduct at least 240 hours, teaching hours, of these two new courses at my university till August 2019. Then we have lots of events and uh, especially roundtable debates that are held at least once a year and some additional scientific events like uh, open lectures and scientific seminars. And my intention for the next year is to invite Professor Colette Mazzuccelli as one of the uh, speakers for this kind of event because this is also the way we can multiply the research and the knowledge on the EU related uh, issues. Um, some other activities that are that are scheduled, so uh, deliverables, but because as you know, it's very important to promote uh, the effects uh, of the project. So what I recommend uh, is to visit the, the project website, umicro.eu. Moreover, I'm running a Facebook account and Twitter account uh, just to keep my uh, students and anyone interested in the project updated what is going on. And finally, as, uh, as usual, in case of any scholar, there are some research activities concerning uh, migration in, in the EU.